so hello friends this is rahul singh so today we will discuss how to do integration log source integration with rsa netwitness okay so currently we do not have any live integration we don't have any log source but i will tell you overview how to integrate different different log sources so first uh, you have to go to services then you have to go in log source log collector click on view then config okay in config there is a one option is event source okay here see so here you will see the log source types no uh, uh, the protocols that rsa network is currently supports so first checkpoint let's suppose you want to integrate checkpoint firewall then choose checkpoint firewall and click ok now in the config here you will see two options one is config and one is filter so we will choose for config for integration ok now we will click on the plus icon here it will show you three options one is checkpoint checkpoint audit and checkpoint security what kind of integration you want what kind of logs that you want to collect from checkpoint so choose that one so we'll go to the first checkpoint one okay see the so checkpoint group is created even category is created now in the source you have to define <coughs> some parameters okay so here you have to give the name your uh, integration name whatever you can give x y z you can give checkpoint checkpoint here the address checkpoint source uh, source address from where that ip address or if you see difficulty in what all these options is saying so just click on the uh, this question mark okay it will redirect you the integration uh, it, it, it will help you with the details of the tabs available options available in the in, in, in this configuration parameter so here you can see this so here name name of the event source okay you can write the name of the event source source whatever it is okay now the address ip address of the checkpoint server the name of the checkpoint server okay now certificate name if you choose to select um, uh, in, in secure you want to collect logs in a secure manner then you have to uh, 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 select certificate okay so there is other option where we can upload the certificate i will show you in next video okay but here you need to select the certificate similarly here the distinguished client distinguished name enter the client distinguished name from the checkpoint server this this of this all the data will be given by your firewall team your checkpoint team okay now we have to create one IP, uh, checkpoint server address ip address of the server on which certificate reside defaults the event source address okay where the uh, event source uh, the, where the certificate is installed you have to give the ip address detail of the server of that server now you can give the password okay now this is the basic configuration parameters there polling interval is 180 minutes three uh, seconds three minutes max poll duration is 120 seconds two minutes max event poll 5000 events per polling interval max idle zero okay so these are the basic uh, uh, configuration is there so if you feel difficulty you can go through the uh, this guide okay so similarly you can give address server name certificate distinguished name client name server distinguished name okay now pull certificate you can choose uh, this option pull certificate your network is automatically pull the certificate you can type the address of the uh, server where the certificate is installed okay you have to give password now in advance event filter okay because we don't have any filter um, if we define if we have defined any filter we, we can choose that filter filter means basically if uh, if you want to drop some unnecessary log the logs that you don't require to be processed further you can just drop down at the collector level so you first you have to create filter and once you have created filter it will appear here you can apply but right now we don't have any filter i will show you how to create filter okay so this is the port number 
default port number lock source type security audit you can choose from here and log from okay start of log now or if you choose now then it will send you the real time logs whatever <coughs> logs will uh, generating in real time it will send that one start of logs means it will send the previous older log in that log file of checkpoint server okay now we can uh, polling interval max poll duration these are the normal things we can let it by default okay so here debug verbose mode or on off debug because here deb uh, for recommended it is recommended to keep it off debug because it will consume more resources okay at the time of any uh, error or any issue we can enable the deb debug log for investigation or for troubleshooting and then after we can uh, disable the debug okay so in this way we can just create uh, integrate checkpoint now we'll show you how to create filter okay click on the filter again you can give checkpoint filter okay. description filter anything click add okay description filter anything you can give here choose log source type event source ip suppose there are multiple uh, uh, checkpoint firewall okay multiple sensors of checkpoint so choose source if uh, you want want to exclude some sensor ip some firewall ip that you don't want to receive log from some particular ip just you can give ip address of that 10.2.3.4 okay okay match uh, you can click drop okay you can click accept okay now update okay the rule is updated filter is updated means means it will drop the logs coming from this ip address now again we will go to the config okay now you can see you go to the advance now you can see here that checkpoint filter is appearing that we have created earlier so in this way we can integrate checkpoint logging uh, checkpoint firewall integration you also need to download the checkpoint or RSA network integration guide to see what all ports need to be open if there is a firewall in between your log source and fire log collector so some ports uh, need to be open that is to be taken care now the syslog so syslog so we don't read for syslog protocol we don't need any integration because you just give the um, uh, ip address of your collector suppose for example like uh, uh, semantic 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 av palo alto palo alto firewall so these are the log source support syslog for format so we don't need any kind of integration just ask your semantic administrator palo alto administrator firewall team to point <coughs> point the log to your log collector ip address like suppose our log collector ip address is 192 192.168.0.11 dot this is this is IP address of our log collector okay just you have to um, uh, enable log forwarding on the semantic and syslog and palo alto palo, palo alto firewall syslog just point the log forwarding on this IP address and your network will start receiving logs nothing no integration is required for syslog okay now we will show you some uh, now so checkpoint is done now we will show windows okay so there are two three ways we can mm, integrate windows log collect windows logs <laughs> windows even one is winrm winrm endpoint server endpoint server or a snare snare agent okay so so for we we need to install an snare agent on each and every uh, endpoint windows 
windows servers or endpoint and that agent will send logs to the rsa witness net witness in a syslog format okay now endpoint service is also similar like it, it is a separate uh, appliance which uh, it is developed by rsa net witness where the agent is required and endpoint server appliance is required okay so the winrm is one only one solution integration which is required uh, agentless collection is can be done through winrm configuration okay so first we have to create kerberos realm okay in kerberos realm we have to define kerberos realm name that you can ask from your windows team let me give you abc anything so host name like rahul.com any anything you can give name okay okay so mapping will be done automatically okay click save the fail to process message came log collected event source rsa.com invalid real name abc okay so now click on save save so this curve realm is used for authentication okay now go to config even category again you have to give the name alias and uh, authorization method basic negotiate you can choose according to a requirement then you can choose channel like security application you can give service account name you have to create one service account at the um, uh, a windows side and that windows uh, that account must must have admin access or access that can read the log file on the uh, server and password then it is a basic advanced uh, in advanced max duration pool in, in and uh, max even per per cycle so these are the options that you need to configure okay if you don't understand what what option is saying so just click on the this it will redirect you okay yeah see first alias so enter a descriptive name that depends on your requirement you can choose your relevant name then choose negotiate okay now channel must uh, for most event sources that use windows collection you want to collect from security system and application okay now username you, you, you can create one service account or username at the end log source type side and windows windows side okay now the password and this is optional max event RSA recommend that you set this value to zero which collects everything okay yeah so these are the ports so event source address enter the IP address of the windows and the port number enter the HTTP and your box check okay so how uh, this option must be configured here so let me show you so let the ABC anything and channel is some security okay abc and thing password click on okay password abc click okay good will create and collecting lock lock box okay so it is saying to create lock asking me lock box so before <coughs> integrating we need to configure in integrating any device we need to configure lock box so in setting tab there is a lock, lock box option is there so while lock box is required because whenever you enter password or anything sensitive data so the lock box will encrypt the, it will store all the sensitive information like password encryption key anything so we will give password anything abc abc okay just apply for error fail to set secure storage password fail to get logbox does not meet complexity okay so it requires complex password alphanumeric okay so i will give alphanumeric password 
lock box is configured now we'll go event source okay now again we will configure anything abc given the descriptive name like uh, windows windows locks okay we'll choose negotiate okay channel security okay now now sorry we mean okay now click ok one or more fields are incorrect ok caught exception while creating new collection configuration for negotiate authentication method username must be named curly format ok so here it is asking for negotiate like the windows let me do basic security okay. now it should work yeah okay, so one event category has been created now we'll select this now host now we'll add host okay now we'll uh, enter the IP address of the Windows server okay First, let's suppose this is the IP address of Windows Server. This is the default port. Okay, we are using HTTP. If we choose HTTPS, then you have to pull certificate. Okay, now we just in not choose HTTP, so no certificate is required. You have to first test. If test is successful, then click OK. If the test will not successful because just I have given random numbers, random values. So let me cancel it. Just I'm sh I showed you how to do Windows collection configuration integration. So in this way, we can also create agentless WinRM configuration for Windows. Okay. Now, so for example, let's one file. Okay. File configuration again we choose config click on file here it is showing multiple options from where from which device from which uh, device type you want to collect file so let's choose apache for example okay apache has been selected now select uh, apache here source type you have to give some details if you don't understand what is file directory just click on the question mark it will give you the details of the all the options okay yeah see file directory the collection directory for example your london 100 into which the file event source places its files okay so this is the file name where uh, the path file file directory where the path uh, i mean the log log is stored on the log source side okay this is the name of the file directory okay now address ip address ip address valid valid value is an ipv4 ipv6 or host name okay now file spec spe specifications or regular expression for example here yeah, process everything okay now encoding it should be as it is default okay so very few options is there to configure okay just give the directory name here anything abc whatever you want now the address 10.2.3.4 anything leave it as it is it will collect each and everything okay enter filter no filter is created everything is leave it default click ok now file collection is started now to validate whether you are receiving logs or not you can go investigate tab and see you can check whether you are receiving logs or not okay so so almost we have covered how to do integration in rsa netwitness the important important one is checkpoint and syslog syslog no integration is required in syslog because just you need to forward is enable for log forwarding on your collector in netwitness you start receiving logs so we have shown windows and files and ODBC these are the all all are the simple one you can try from yourself okay so so see you then next video bye bye